Hello, sports gamers, and welcome to our first coverage of the ECL Pro here in this spring season of 2023. We've been at it for a while, but we're always excited to bring you these pro matchups. Of course, these are the teams that we could see in the Elite Division next year. I'm joined here, of course, by It's King Lyman. How are you doing today, my friend? Hey, man, it feels good to be back. It may be spring, but the skates are still on here, Sid, and we're excited to get going with two big hockey teams here today. Yeah, absolutely. And a finished spring, its uh, you never know if it's going to be sunny or snowing. As That's of right, right now, it is sunny over there in Finland, and they're all hoping that they are done with the snow for the season. But right now, we got swins, uh, <laughs> we got Swedes and Finns colliding. I think I just coined a new term, a Swedish like matchup I, here. I think we we're going to run with it. <laughs> between uh, Zhergordon and Venom here in this first matchup. Of course, we will be covering another matchup a bit later on as well, but we're going to focus in on these two here as their seasons have already gotten underway. A couple games played for each of them, but this should be an absolutely exciting matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Venom went head to head with B Brian as IF yesterday and ended up only getting two goals for their sin. So they're going to look to find the back of the net here tonight and they get a tough game to do it with with Jurgard and hockey around the corner. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we'll give you guys a look at some of the latest results that have been happening early on in this season in the pro division here. You see, you know, uh, the split, Jer Gordon and Sika right there. You know, pretty decent matchup. We're seeing some familiar names as well as, you know, also some newer names. Of course, I, I know Lyman will remember the, the team Gifu there, who was a, you know, a team later on in the pro season who made a run. Of course, be a bro still active as well. Yeah, and I love my guys over there, the Deadly Phantoms from Group 1. And that's actually who Zergordon ended up playing against. And they actually fell both games to them. And we're going to see them a little a bit later. Sorry, that was Red Bull uh, that they fell to. But a lot of familiar names, like you said here, Sin. And I'm just getting my gears back going here myself. Yeah, absolutely. Here is, uh, I believe we'll be able to actually show you uh, the individual groups and how they're going to shape out as well. Here's we do have those fixtures available. You guys can get an idea of what the groups are going to look like here. 16 teams here in this group one. Of course, some teams haven't played a game yet. The points where people are in the standings right now, there's still a lot to be decided. But of course, the left hand of the bracket is where you want to be when it comes to the playoffs. Yeah, you see a couple zeros over there on the right-hand side. That's more of a power ranking system, right, Sin? That's why they're sitting where they are on the right. But on the left, Lulea Hockey, Bad... Bastu and Deadly Phantom supporting the one, two, and three in group one. And it's going to be exciting is like you said, a lot of very, very good teams here in group one battling for the left side of the board. Absolutely. And we'll take a look now at the uh, group two standings as well. And again, 16 teams present here. There was a bit confusion uh, for myself and I'm sure some of the other procasters last season, we had a group with a bit less teams. So less games played total and it kind of worked out how, yeah, we were we were predicting who could lock in playoff bros. Anyway, that's all in the past now. It'll be a lot simpler this time around when we get to the end of the season. And boy, is this season going to fly by. It is a mad dash to the finish. But in this group, you can see quite a few teams who don't have any games played, including the Herlev Eagles and Arkham Asylum, two teams that were prominent in the playoffs last season. Yeah, a lot of familiar names on that right-hand side of the board without some games played with Renescore as well there, Sin. But you look over to the left-hand side, and only two games played for these teams. You see Venom, who we're going to see here in our first fixture tonight, is sitting in seventh place, and then Jurgården, uh sitting in fifth. So we always see these two-point swing games here, Sin. And like you said, with the Mad Dash, every game is important to collect a W. Absolutely. As we turn our attention to that matchup, Venom taking on Zhergordon here. Both teams sitting there with two points. So essentially each of these games is a four point game here on the side of Venom. The game they won only scored two goals. As you mentioned, six goals against. They're going to want to improve that ratio as the season goes on. Zhergordon a bit more of a positive in that with the eight goals for and those six goals against. Yeah, they ended up putting up a pretty good matchup going one and one against Sika, did Zurgordon. And uh, you're right there, Sin. Venom is really going to want to find the back of the net and do it quickly. Get those pucks on that. There's been no power plays, no penalty kills for them. So we'll look for them to get their special teams moving as well. 
Absolutely. And we'll take a look now at the lineups for these two teams and who's going to be playing for each of these sides and for Venom. Up front, it is Ruhe, and we're going to call him Daddy because it's just absolutely impressive. And then Yusa on that right wing side. And on defense, it is Nursko and uh, Kimos. And well, in the goal, it is Yere. And on the side of Jurgorden, you have Tiltson, Lidman, and Abadi up front. Strompen, Sveti on the back end, and Eli Kamel. A name that we all know very, very well. Has spent some time in Elite as well. He will be locking down in between the pipes for Jure Gordon. We'll take a look now at the individual matchup, starting as we do with that center comparison. Again, not a whole lot of games played quite yet, but there are some things that jump out, at least to my eye line. Yeah, obviously the face-off percentage sin, which I know you what you were pointing towards, that is a massive discrepancy. And we know that Lidman's very good in the dot. This being a possession game is going to be very, very interesting. Another one, zero goals on either side. Both of these guys love to set up their wingers. These demon are going to have to work hard to get in those lanes to prevent those one-timers. Yeah, as we take a look now at the winger matchups as well, again, there'd be some... A bit of point discrepancies, of course, as Venom only has those two goals for so far. But, you know, your Gordon are in a great spot. Yeah, no, they de they definitely are. Look at the uh, goals there for Amadi. And we've seen this forward lineman of Lidman, Tilton, and Amadi do so well here for Zer Gordon. And they're going to continue to do that this season. But on the other side, Venom's got some tough guys as well. No apples there for Yusa, but a lot of pucks on net. So we'll see if he can finally find the back of the net tonight. Absolutely, and Oruhe has uh, insane arms right there. If uh, he can't score on you, I'm sure he could choke you out. Yeah, I didn't we'll... want to bring it up because I was <laughs> concerned, you know, but carry on. <laughs> As we uh, switch over to the defensive comparison between these two teams, and of course, you know, not a whole lot of numbers to look at so far, but seeing some physical presence on that side is your Gordon. Yeah, definitely. 14 hits for Sveti. And if you're not having as much fun as he's having in that pitcher, you just shouldn't be playing the game here, Sin. He loves to lay the body. He gets in front of shots for his own goaltender. And then you go over to the other side with three block shots for both of the Venom defensemen. They know how to get in those lanes. They're going to have to do it against a strong Zergordon forward line. And last but not least, it is the goaltender comparison between Ali Kamel and Yere, of course. And yeah, so far, neither of the goals against averages looking too good, but they're quite close in that save percentage. Both well-known goalies, but you can flip a coin in this goalie matchup, can't you, Sin? With three goals against in two games played, both of these goaltenders are fantastic. We've seen them many times here on Sports Gamer, and, you know, it's early in the season, but those are some pretty good numbers to start. Yeah, absolutely, as uh, we're hoping to get these games underway as soon as possible here, and just waiting on a word if we are indeed ready for that. But until we get going here again, once again, we're very excited to get this uh, pro season back underway. We love covering the pro division. As we said, again, these are the teams we could one day see in elite. And in this last elite division, uh, elite season, we had all four teams that could have gotten up from pro into elite make it. And that's seeming to happen with more and more consistency here as there's a lot more teams with a lot more higher talent and they keep pushing, they keep staying hungry and they keep trying to make it into that elite division. And, mm -hmm. and that keeps get, you know, lighting a fire under those elite division teams to be like, if you want to stay here, you got to keep up. Yeah, and I think one thing to attest to that, Sin, is there's not as much switch up as you see in NA. You know, uh, EU really finds their groove and they drive with their team. They work through things where you usually see in the North American side of things, it's everything but a or everything with a revolving door. These guys are coming in and coming out. And it's very good to see uh, the EU guys put their nose to the grindstone and drive right in and get themselves working to a successful team. And it's paying off for them here in Sports Gamer ECL. Yes, it absolutely is. And as we are getting underway, we'd like to remind you all that there are several banned X Factor abilities over the course of this season under the yes. Sports Gamer umbrella, Unstoppable Force, Truculence, uh, Close Quarters, and now I'm forgetting the fourth one, of course, but it's a lot to take care of. But you're seeing a lot of people kind of adjust their builds to be able to keep up with that. But puck drop, here we go. Venom versus Jure Gordon here. Venom on the bottom of your screen in those road white jer uh, jerseys, excuse me. Jure Gordon on top as Thrumpen enters his own here. Tilts in, finds Lidman who creeps in, looking for that slot, taken away. 
And Venom coming back the other way. Nice one touch deep by Daddy. There is he looking for the slot intercepted by Tiltson. And here comes Azure Gordon back the other way to the slot shot. Bit of a late reaction right there from Tiltson. Not much of an angle, but could have put that on anyway. Shot from the point. Locked aside by Yede. And Venom will collect. Yeah, Yede feeling the puck early here, Sin. And that's what he needs to do to get himself into the game. So dumps that one in, giving chase right there. Carlson will swoop that one up. Sveti now L skating. And Strump in, having some trouble right here. Turnover caused. Ruhe in all alone. Trying to get that pass over the shot. Oh, it's dead on the goal line. Daddy with a backhand on. Made it hit the blocker, but then just died on the line. What a gorgeous play. I didn't see what defenseman that was there, but what a play. I believe it might have been Sveti that grabbed it off the line, like you were saying there, and, uh, you know, held that one on for his goaltender, Ellie Kamel. Amadi now taking it in, else getting a bit on the boards to protect that puck. Has it knifed away. Yusa passes it over. Kimos has the puck now. Trying to feed that one through, but couldn't connect. Jure Gordon will collect it in their own end to start a breakout of their own. Tiltson enters, weaving his way through the middle back to Sveti and Strumpen now. Going down low, nice positioning right there. Venom takes that away before Jure Gordon can really get anything established. Yeah, it's been nice. a lot of new... Oh, go ahead. No, it's okay. I was just saying that was a nice pass. Something I was expecting a little bit more out of that, but Daddy didn't quite have the speed. I thought they were uh, resetting that sin, and I was going to be able to get a word in, but they tricked me too, as well as the defense. Gorgeous cut play to enter the zone, and that's what you're seeing Venom do is take advantage of their speed at the line. Exactly. They want to try to beat that trap. Nice tie-up play, but Tilton's the first one to get to it. That uh, winger, of course, on the side of the ref always has a little bit of a speed advantage at times. At least that's the, uh, the rumor and the conspiracy in the NHL games. They move it up to the middle. Daddy trying to deke his way to the inside. Taken away. Tilson will have it. Slow things down. Strumpen in with speed. All the way down behind the net. Trying to cut back out front. Amity took a shot off the side of the net. Still has it now. Finds its way back to the point to Sveti. Sveti trying to look for that one T. They almost had the stretch pass to Yusa. But it couldn't quite connect. He's in possession now. To the middle. Daddy waits with it. And taken away once again as Amity starts the rush for Zergordon. Down low and back up top. Sveti over to his defensive partner. Strumpen takes the shot. Blocked. But they maintain possession. Good first bit of ozone time here for Zurgarden, But nice defensive work. Take that one away. Yeah, pretty impressive there for Venom to shut Zurgarden down for their first taste of offensive zone hockey at the six-minute marks in. With the puck now is Kimos. He's looking in. They do gain the line, and they do maintain possession. Ruhoy goes back to the point. Their school gets bodied. Yuso with the puck, winding up that slap shot, but just someone right in his face. Daddy with it once again. Caught flat-footed, but still maintaining possession. Venom absolutely tenacious on the puck. Blind pass. Doesn't go. Tilts and pass over to Amity, but once again, near school in great position to break that one up. Daddy has it now up the middle. Ruhe. Drop pass for the nurse school. He goes all the way down low. Winger couldn't quite get to it, but now it's back up top. Shot looking for that deflection in the high slot, but was blocked right after contact. Amity now weaving towards the middle, collides with his own player. Venom back in possession. Their stretch pass doesn't go. Yeah, Venom's defense at the line has been fantastic. Only one set of offensive chances here for Zergordon is they're going to get a, try and get another opportunity, Sim, but it's just dumped in, and Venom's got it right back the other way. We're almost to the end of this first period. I feel like there's only been maybe one whistle. I shouldn't have said anything. There's another whistle with 12.4 left. Hey, it's the commentator's curse. If we weren't having it true and real on day one, it wouldn't be a thing, right? As we're going to go back to neutral ice. But you're absolutely right, Sin. It's really been very quiet from Zero Gordon. Fast paced period, but they need to get a little bit of offense here. They're trying for one more rush. But once again, guess who's there? Nurse School. To break that one up, and that will do it for this first first period. No scoreline here, relatively even, but you got to think Venom has gotten the better of the offensive time and the chances thus far.
better the defensive time too i think sin is, is they didn't really give you gordon an opportunity i believe they were in at their first time at the six minute mark i wrote down i heard you say there and you know you got to get in sooner than that only one shot on either side though sin and if you're venom you got to feel like you got to capitalize on these opportunities in the zone you've got guys like daddy ruhey who, who can move the puck around offensively but you got to get those shots on net when you've got a goalie like Ellie Kamel in the other net. Yeah, and you know, credit to each of the team's team defense so far. They have been getting into a lot of shooting lanes as well. And, you know, there's not much space in the middle of the ice. And perhaps they'd each benefit from working that perimeter just a little bit more. As we saw Jure Gordon did, you met, you pointed out, around the six-minute mark, they started working that perimeter before. Trying to get back to the middle. But second period will begin now. Both of these teams going to want to put some more shots on net. That's got to be the goal here. Otherwise, you run the risk of this game coming down to one or two bounces, and no team necessarily wants that. Yeah, it's never a fate when you got to put it into EA's hands. And... <laughs> no, definitely not. What people want is Amity has the puck. He'll slow down at the blue line, pass it to Strumpen, who gets that one in. Going down low, looking for that quick pass to get the short side shot, but they didn't connect. Sveti goes to Amity. Once again, behind the net, tilts in. Out front, bouncing puck. Venom are the ones who collect it, though, with speed. Nice job to cut him off, but he maintains possession. What a read by Tilson just holding up and realizing that the only option he had to pass it was back to the point. I think we've woken the beast of Jurgården here, Sin, as they're starting to get some offensive zone time. We see that gorgeous little cute backdoor pass, and here comes Venom. Yeah, he didn't quite have the speed to split the D, but he is able to get that one down low. Sveti does a great job. Tilson coming back the other way, slowing up, maintaining possession there. Can't get the shot away. Sveti now dodges the hit, goes back, and all the way down low to Amity. Sveti with it once again. Strumpen creeps down into the zone, looking out front right there. Couldn't get the shot away. And again, Nirsku in tremendous position to break that one up. Ruhe now with the puck. They're trying to circle the net right there. Ruhe back in possession. His pass just doesn't go here. And again, shots continuing to be hard to come by. Yeah, they definitely are for both teams here. As we're seeing the D-men get in the way. We talked about it beforehand. It's working out. So to join the rush right there. Kind of a far wrap chance right there for Tiltson. And that's an easy save for Yede. And that's kind of what we've seen all game here, Sin. It's just been low-quality shots from low-quality areas. We saw Jared Gordon get that good pass out the backside, but Venom's been the same at the other end. These guys got to put the puck on net. Tie-up play, but it's taken by Tilson. What a save by Yeti right there. And, yeah, Tilson a bit frustrated with himself after that chance. Speaking of pucks on nets in, what a save there by Yeti as he comes across just extending far to get that glove save. Gorgeous moves. Face off battle in favor of Jurgården so far. They win another one. Shot from the point right there from, from Sveti. Looking for a deflection. Plenty of traffic there, but off his own man. Skitters wide and then will collect it midway through this second period now. Of course, we'd like to thank our friends at Koblon Lakritzi for sponsoring this ECL spring season. This Thrumpen takes it with a head of steam. Gets bodied off, but he just power moves through. Nirsku takes it away. Amity. Can't quite get the shot away. Couldn't decide what to do with it. He was initially looking for Tiltson on the back door. Yeah, and just unable like, to keep it in. It looked like Amity maybe wanted to take the backhand after he saw Yere come off the post there, Sin. As uh, I think that's what put him in a little bit of a tough spot instead of making the pass like you said he should have. Face off play in the neutral zone. Tie up one by Venom, but once again, it's Jure Gordon who get to it. Intercepted in the neutral there, bumped from behind, and Jurgon get it in. Over, what a one-time save by Yeti. A quick bang-bang play, and he snuffs it out. Quick plays, quick saves. I don't even know if Yeti saw that one, but the good positioning of him for Venom allowed him to make that save. But Jurgon, they are starting to heat up here with seven to go in the second. Yeah, getting those chances, forcing turnovers, getting shots on. There it is! From the points, Thrumpen with a blast past Yede and Jurgordon open up the scoring. You could almost feel it coming, Lime. 
That was a monster, monster play there as we could feel it coming and no tips in front as we know Big Tipperson was the one that we couldn't put on the tip of our tongue there, but it's going to be a big goal for Zorgordon as we get a replay here. Amadi right back to the point, one timer far side and Strump on keeping on that full head of steam. I mean, yeah, and you don't often see a defenseman rocking uh, the one T ability, but there he was with the silver one T came in handy right there, and Nurgordon forced a turnover and right back in. Sveti powers through, looks to the middle right there, cut off by Kimos, and they'll begin to work it out. Will Venom, Daddy has the puck now on the boards, maintaining possession. Yusa trying to go back to him, just way too many dark jerseys there, and Strumpen, the goal scorer, coming back ahead of Steam. He is fast. We'll it's like it a away. different team here, Sin, from the first period, this Zildegarden hockey team. And Venom need to find a way to respond here. Nice cut to the middle. The pass through. The shot was kind of uh, healed by Yusa there, but he maintains. Gets it behind the net. Couldn't pass it out front. Hit off the back of the net. Tiltson will begin to work that out. Just kind of shovels it out, but that should lead to actually no icing right there. Oh, Wes McCauley puts the whistle away. <laughs> Not even the playoffs yet, imagine. <laughs> Neutral zone turnover forced. Strumpen in position once again. Slowing things down for his team. Looking for the passes. Has it right there. But it looked like Lidman thought it was coming to him. You know, that's the first stutter step from the Theodore Gordon hockey here in period two. Period one, the, uh, the tables were flipped. It was all Venom. But you can't even feel Venom's pressure in this period. It's been all Theodore Gordon. Absolutely, here is, they try to get something established, nice quick pass, Ruhe has it, back to Kimos, looking in front, they got it there, he just couldn't get the quick enough shot animation and not the proper handedness for that play either, as, you know, Svetsi will just kill the rest of the clock off and the second period will end, Zhirgordon will maintain that 1-0 lead. In. I'm watching this back on the replay on the stream and there is five dark jerseys underneath the hash marks clogging that high crease play that Venom's trying to do. They did it a couple times there in period one but Durgordon has adjusted their game in the defensive zone and I think that's what's a test to them being so good in the offensive zone. It was all pressure from Durgordon in this hockey game and they get a great goal from the back end from their defenseman Strumpon who was kind of leading the charge with momentum here in, uh, in period two. Wow, and not a single register shot for Venom in that period. That kind of goes to speak of how much Zhirgorn was able to turn it on right there and completely dominate. But yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head when, you know, Venom wants to get to the middle of the ice kind of almost as soon as they enter that zone. But Zhirgorn, that's the first place they're going to go. They're going to, you know, back check and collapse towards that center there. And so, yeah, Venom's going to have to be the team that adjusts here in this third period. Yeah, absolutely. As uh, Jordan Gordon did it very, very well, though, Sin in period two. We'll see if Venom can come back here in period three. I got to grab my Koval on Lakriti. Absolutely. They are only down by one. That's kind of the saving grace right now. All it takes is one shot, one bounce to go your way here, but you're going to have to establish this zone. Nilsku does get the puck in. Looking to the middle. They got the shot away, but Ellie Kamel flashes the leather. Perfect play there by Venom. They need more of that there, Sin. Get away from throwing the puck through five bodies. Get the shots on. Play greasy hockey to get yourself one here. Yeah, it was just a heck of a shot from Yusa right there. Rocking that gold one T. Both wingers, in fact, rocking that gold one T. So the options are there if they could get it in. Abadi there has it knifed away, and that will lead to an offside. And even though that is offside, look at the high IQ from the defenseman there, or sorry, the centerman there of Lidman to hang right behind his winger just in case the poke check does come off. He was a little bit behind it. It was offside, but that's a smart hockey from Peter Gordon. Emos in possession now. Trying to get that one through. They do get it. The centerman has it. Daddy trying to rip that shot on. Blocked in front by, I believe that was Sveti. Lidman has it. He looking down low, circles around, finally gets it back down low, looking for that short side play, but Comedy unable to connect. Tiltson has it now, goes back up top. Sveti now in possession. He plays catch with his center. Man, they got to be careful with that pass. Ruhe was lurking to pick that one off, but they're still a little, not out of it. A backhand one time that was deflected, in fact. Absolutely unreal. Amity with the goal and Zhirgordon go up by two.
And, you know, high risk, high reward, Sin. The passing back at the point allows them to open up the middle by bringing both wingers up high to try to intercept that puck. You saw it. We both winced as there they are right up high, but it opens everything up in the middle and the backhand of all shots from the high slot going bar down and Dur Gordon's in good position to win this hockey game now. Yeah, you know, 15 minutes left. There still is time for Venom. They just have to show that they can get some offense going. Again, they don't want to be a team that struggles early on. Here comes Lidman trying to feed that one across. Kimos intercepts it. Here comes Venom back the other way, and they need to get something. What a poke in the neutral zone. Yusa still has it. Then tilts and takes it away. El skates. He maybe could have completed that turn instead of trying to pass. Nonetheless, the puck at least clears the zone. Venom has to look to re-enter. Daddy just trying to will his way in. And unfortunately, that will lead to an offside for Zergordon. I love how Zergordon has not changed their game up from period two, even though they're up by two sin. We see a lot of teams sit back sometimes when you have the lead and it doesn't necessarily work out. They're full gas here, shutting it down at the blue line. Great trap hockey, still looking for those cuts up by two. We'll see if they can get another one. Dump and chase coming out now on the side of Zergordon and Amity picks it up, down low to Tiltson. He tries to go out front, but that pass hits off the back of the net. We've seen that a few times from these two teams so far is a pass. Takes an awkward bounce off the boards and gives Yede a fright. Venom now, the pass up, and it's just been a struggle for them right now to even gain the blue line here. Zergordon playing a near-perfect period here. That may go for icing. No again. Did somebody mess with the settings beforehand, Sin? <laughs> I don't know, we're doing custom rules tonight. Apparently, I mean, maybe I just don't know what icing is in this game. It's... <laughs> Definite possibility. Strumpen with speed and once again down the wing, kicks it back up top. Tiltson now looking for that wrap around, but Yede is right there. Strumpen's got to be your player of the game for Zero Gordon Hockey here, as he is not only backpacked it at the blue line, he's been able to get a goal. He takes it in for zone entries. The guy's doing it all out there. Not all heroes wear capes in. Nope, some of them uh, wear the shame of having to play defense in an NHL game. But he does it incredibly, incredibly well. Daddy now has the puck. Trying to take that shot into the middle. On the point now, Kimos. Shot on, nice look right there, but Ellie Kamel makes the save. Probably the best look that Venom's had thus far. That wasn't that one time or that, uh, that happened in uh, previous possession, but they're running out of time. Zhurgon taking it back in down low. Tilson has it. Trying to go back up top, but not exactly where he would want to pass that if he had another opportunity. Used to trying to pressure that. Ridman was behind the net. They got to be careful now. It's right on the crease. Yusa will get it, but can't maintain possession. Spetsy to take that out. Lidman passes up to Tilson. And Jurgon dodge a bullet, but go offside. I don't think they mind slowing that game down a bit. You're sensing the urgencies from Venom is here. We see the timeout called, and that's expected. They are uh, running three forwards on the forward check, and if that's not urgency here, Sin, I don't know what is. Yeah, it absolutely is urgency, and they, and they need it at this point. You know, they know the time's running out three and a half minutes. Yes, you have that last minute of real time, but you'd like to get that first goal before you get into that zone to give yourself kind of the best opportunity at coming back. You know, they do have three shots so far in this period, but that's been a struggle for them as well as just being able to get shots. Yeah, and, and we said that in the first period, Sin. It's not like this is some new thing that's come up that, you know, the first period we got to the end, there was two shots between the two teams. So, you know, pucks need to go on net here, especially in tight games. Yeah, one team has figured it out, and they have a two-goal lead because of it. Yusa with the puck now, looking for that one time. Ruhe couldn't get it off cleanly. I like that shot from the point, just looking for a deflection or a rebound. Can they maintain possession? Yusa gets beat to the puck by Strumpen, makes the pass to Tiltson, and Jur Gordon have it in. Amity now, back up top. Lavin on the half wall again as they continue to play catch. Sveti now takes it in down low. Shot on by Amity, and Yere with the save. Yet, a, you know, he's given him a chance here, and that's all you can ask for from uh, the Venom's goaltender. They haven't had much offense, but at least Yere is back there. He's doing his job, Sin. Yeah, trying to lock it down as best he can here. We are in the last minute of real time. Even more desperation on the side of Venom. Ruhe takes it and gets bodied in the corner. It's still loose. Daddy will pick it up. 
But that's taken away by Sveti. Begin to work it down. Strumpen gets body now. Could be a quick re-entry for Venom, but they can't get the pass across. What a recovery by Zurgordon here. About 30 seconds left to pass across. Maybe ill-advised. He could see a quick transition. Chemos into the middle. Daddy now just can't get that puck away. Was swarmed. And Amity has it. Amity across. What a save by Yere doing his utmost to give his team a chance, but there simply may not be enough time. Tiltson now just killing time low. St stuffs it on short side, kept out again, but they're still in possession down low. Venom can't get the puck out, and that should do it in this first game. A late goal from Amity. A broken play, shot from the point, hit in front. He buries it, and now it's well and truly over. Yeah, Tilson finding the lane to Amadi, but how about that save by Yere? If we go back even further, gorgeous play. I didn't even see Lidman high in the slot there, and then the goal just forms out of that. Sveti overs the shot from Strumpon, and it just pops right for Amadi. Right time, right place, 3-0. They're going to take this one with a gorgeous shutout from a well-deserved Zeli Kamel. Absolutely. He wasn't called upon often, but he made the saves. He needed to a complete team effort on the side of Zier Gordon and a huge, huge two points. Massive, massive swing two points here, uh, Sin. Is these two teams only sitting one point apart, but now he's Zier Gordon. They're going to take it up to six points. Or sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. Six points while uh, Venom is going to still reside at three. Yes, indeed, here is all the team's uh, post-game celebrations. Of course, we're going to hope we get a couple looks at the replays of those goals to be able to kind of further dissect how they happen. But really, there's not much to dissect in that game. The first period, a stalemate. And then Gordon made an adjustment, and all of a sudden they took over. Venom simply wasn't able to come back. And what do you think that they need to do in Game 2, Lime, to kind of you know get themselves in a situation to create that offense? Sin, it's simple. Play like period one. You know, you did everything short of getting shots on net and then the goal in period one did Venom. And then it was like a switch had turned on for Jir Gordon Hockey. Their trap at the line was phenomenal. They didn't let Venom in in the second period. You said in between the second and third, they didn't even have a tallied shot. So the blocks were coming in very well from Sveti and Strumpon. And you got to figure out a way to shut down Strumpon. I think if you, if you end up shutting him down, getting into the zone he was getting free entries on his side and just carrying it in with a full head of steam you could hear him chugging from the nosebleeds and uh, you got to just find your way around the guys that are playing at the top of their game right now yes absolutely indeed and yes thump in a three-point game from the point of goal and two assists and even though ea may have uh the, the man with uh two goals and one assist and amity as the first star i think you know thump and we're both uh kind of sold on him being the first star in our hearts and minds yeah, I, nobody played better than him tonight, Sin. And it's not just in the offensive zone where he was able to get that one-timer goal that we're seeing here on screen now. But he was fantastic in the defensive zone as well. He had a couple blocks. He was great at the blue line. And then he gained about 7 to 10 entries for Durgordon in two periods. As we know, it was non-existent in period one. So uh, he was absolutely phenomenal. But you got to take a look back at Amadi as well. You know, the guy's a grinder he's getting in those dirty areas as you see it right there waiting for the puck to drop but venom has to take a page out of your gordon's book with that i think sin you got to start throwing those pucks on net and get greasy here yeah absolutely you know that's kind of and i liked we saw it a little bit at the end of the game with uh you know nersku starting to just rip pucks on from the point looking yeah. for a deflection it also created a rebound i think they're gonna have to remember those little kind of victories that they were able to get in a game where just you know things didn't quite go their way after that first period and even in the first period like you said yeah they, they kind of you know we felt like they outplayed them until that you know latter half of around the six minute mark when jure gordon got that extended zone time but yeah. still just that one shot four right so it's yes. you know but in, in that third period, they were able to get shot. So if they can combine, you know, that element with that first period element of dictating the pace of play for the majority of the period, they have a chance here in the second game. But, yeah, you cannot end a three-period game in EASHL with just five shots. You know, you just can't do that. 
or that much zone time and that much momentum um, and not take advantage of it, right, Sin? You know, you, yeah. you got the momentum cooking towards your way. We know this is a video game at the best sense. So if you've got the tide swinging towards yourself, you have to put more than one puck on net. You can't rely on having, a, you know, a guaranteed chance, especially when you have Ellie Kamel in the goal. You know, we talked about him beforehand. He's phenomenal. He comes out and shows it with a big shutout there in game one. You got to put rocks on net here. Five is simply not enough. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to set the stage. Before we set the stage for game number two, of course, we're going to take a quick break to get a word from our sponsors. So don't go anywhere. We will be back in just a few minutes. All right. Welcome back. Of course, the teams have matched up here. Excited to get going once again. We will be watching from the Jure Gordon uh, perspective. Of course, we have other matchups coming up this week. Uh, Wednesday, of course, back to the Elite Action. And on Saturday, April 19th, Sports Gamer doing yet another sport with Madden 23, the Academy Tournament. You have a chance to win uh, the tickets to the NFL international game here. You can register at sportsgamer.gg slash Madden. Tugi and I will be on the call for that. And I know both of us are absolutely excited to get to cover some Madden gameplay. Hey, it's exciting to see Sports Gamer getting out and, uh, you know, they're the best at running tournaments. They should be doing it at every single sport. And they're just uh, paving the way once again here, Sid. Absolutely. As we get ready for puck drop here, game two between Jure Gordon and Venom. Of course, Jure Gordon now the bottom of your screen in those road white jerseys, taking on Venom on the top in their home red jerseys as Tiltson looking to get a quick shot on there. They've hit the side of the net. Nerscu has it now for Venom. They're going to look for some quick zone entries here, but unfortunately there, pass goes awry. And Strumpen will pass over to Svetu, who leads the attack. Nice pass to Amity in with speed. Amity to the front right there, shot on by Lidman, but stopped by Yere. Great feed there by Amadi. He got that through about four red jerseys there. Sin right onto the stick of Lidman. But how about Yere not over sliding to the left? He stood his ground in the middle and made a great save. Face off one. Looking for that one timer right there. Tilson took a ripper but was blocked in front. Taken away in the neutral zone. He's looking to get that one back out front. His pass. Daddy has some trouble behind the net. Taken away by Amadi. And he tries to get another pass back. Maybe actually took a shot from behind the net looking for that wraparound. Turnover back the other way. Yusa has it for Venom. Trying to feed that into the middle, but taken away by Lidman. Strumpen now with the puck and passes over to his defensive partner. And beautiful zone entry once again. Speed down the wing. Pass across and hit his intended target one time. Score! Tiltson with an absolute blast from the high slot. And Jur Gordon strike first. The fact that started at center from Sveti the Strumpon once again here, Sin. What a play to even get into the zone. And then the patience to stop up by Lidman to make that extra feed over for the one-timer. Here we're seeing it. Sveti, Strumpon. Strumpon sends it over. Lidman, Lidman, 200 IQ to stop up and get it to tilt him for the one-timer. That's just... Super high IQ hockey by Jur Gordon. They're clearly feeling themselves right now. Sveti has it once again. They gain the line briefly. Puck went loose. Kimos has it now for Venom. They want to get a quick response here. Daddy takes it into the corner pass and actually hit off the goaltender right there. Good thing he didn't start sliding to his right. Yeah, Ellie Kamel uh, gets a little bit of lucky with that. As I know, you know, we would all start sliding if we saw that guy going behind the net. So good play by him to hold his post. Yeah, I'm always amazed by the amount of trust that these goaltenders have. And oh, yeah. plays like that, one-timer goes just wide. Shooting back to the far side was Ruhe. Amity coming back the way for Zure Gordon. Looking for that one team once again, but snuffed out in the middle. Ruhe has it now looking for that one T there. They're starting to look higher in the zone, but Zure Gordon still doing a great job. Turnover in the neutral zone. And taken in now by the defenseman, Kimos. Back down low. Near to school, has it on the point now. Sliding to the middle, one time scores! It opens up, they find it, and I believe that was Yusa there. They yeah, finally man. get their goal in this two-game set. 
Austin, we talked a lot about Dira Gordon being below the hash marks. We see it again there. Four white jerseys below the hash marks. But this time, Yusa notices that, backs himself up, and gets himself open for the one-timer. Dira Gordon's really clogging the middle, sending one to the puck carrier. Great job by Venom to sink their teeth in and get one. Response that they really needed, not only in this game, but to get their offense going. You know, in this season, in this two-game series so far, again, they came in today with just two goals, four on the season. They can force another turnover here. Up now only loops. sitting with three here, Sin, is here goes Dur Gordon. Tiltson has it to the middle. Oh, my goodness. What a play. What a shot by Omni. Dur Gordon take the lead right back. Do you like gifts? I love gifts. Apparently, Amadi does too. Tiltson, what a move to walk around that hit. He doesn't turn and make it forehand. He blind passes that to Amadi, and what a goal. Amadi's not going to miss from there with no goalie in the net, Sin. Never. No, absolutely not. And again, starts from the defensive zone, forcing that yep. turnover at the blue line here. Well, speaking of turnovers, forced right there. Ruhe has it now, puts over to Daddy, can't get the shot away, deflection, scores! Back and forth affair here in the first period, deflection by Ruhe, and they tie it right back up. Sin, we showed up to call a hockey game and a barn burner broke out, is what an answer there from Venom so quickly. We know how good the tips are, that's why Big Tipper was removed by Sports Gamer, and they come back with a big answer, we're all knotted up at two. Absolutely, and you know, more, for the proof, you can still tip the puck without that ability. Oh, yeah. It's about patience, positioning, and the right kind of shooting lanes. Yep. They make it work right there. Great responses so far from Venom. Now Zhergordon looking to get one of their own. Oh, nice pass right there, but cut off well by the defense of Venom. Saucer pass to an area, but Strumpen takes it. Held up with his own player right there. Not the cleanest of entry attempts. And Venom back in possession. Daddy trying to move that one from the middle. Ruhe trying to power his way through. But a back check from Amity will snuff that out. But they can't clear the zone. Ruhe with it again trying to throw that one on. Sveti's able to pick up that puck off the hop. Nice passing once again. Amity coming in. Back and scores! And... <laughs> Barn burner is the correct word here. It's the first period only. We have five total goals as you're going to take the lead back. Yeah, we have more goals in this period than Venom has so far in their four games total here, Sin. And this is a barn burner at its best. What a great hockey game. We saw the defensive side last time. We're seeing the offensive side now as things are really starting to open up for both teams. Gordon in possession again. Amity slides by one defender. Now to the point. Lidman tries to rip that shot on its block. He sticks it away. Possession maintained now for Venom. Ruhe over to Kimos. Kimos trying to make that pass through. It goes loose again. Daddy has it now. Back to the point. Shot on. Loose. Puck. Still loose. Tilson picks it up. Has that one knifed away. Daddy will pick it up and maintain the zone. Over to the one time. Ali Kamel reads it. Slides over and makes the stop. Venom has Zergordon chasing in the defensive zones and they're running around like, uh, you know, every time the puck's on a red jersey, they're like white on rice all over them in the defensive zone. We'll see what they get here in the faceoff. Shot on again, saved by Ellie Kamel, poked away, still down low. Daddy trying to send that one in front, but taken away. Amity now has it down the right wing side, slows up a bit. Looking, shot on, hit the outside of the post. That was Strumpen who activated. And he's once again trying to get something going for his team. Just 4.9 remaining in the first. Yeah, they'd love to get a little bit of a comforting two-goal lead here off this offensive zone faceoff. Then. See what they're able to set up here. Lidman against Daddy on the draw. Lidman will get the win. The stick lift shot. Oh, my goodness. They had it. That's what they wanted. They couldn't quite capitalize. The period winds to a close and what a period it was Amity with two goals in that one this one perhaps the prettiest as a team a sweet break in goes backhand and tucks it on Yede
You would think this would be the end of the game with where the score is between these two defensive teams, but that is not the case. We are only through one sin, and there's a lot of hockey left. Goaltenders, things are opening up in the defensive zone, giving the strong forwards on both sides ample opportunity to find the back of the net, and it's like Venom was listening to the broadcaster. They woke up, Sin. Is they sure turned it on in this period, but it's kind of irrelevant with how well Zergordon's playing. Yeah, you know, the bright spot for Venom is they have as many shots in the first period as they did in the entirety of last game. So that's good. You know, they're able to find those lanes. They're able to, you know, make the adjustments to get shots on. It's just the fact Jure Gordon has a couple more shots and one more goal. So still some work to do here for Venom in the second period and beyond. See how they start off and see what both teams are going to try to do to tighten up in their own end. Give those goaltenders the help that they deserve. Venom wins the draw, and they'll look for a break in here. Offside on the call. Yeah, big offside play there. And Dur Gordon in the second period, I think they just need to slow the game down a little bit as Venom, they seem to be playing very good at a high pace in the first period. Yeah, definitely, and a lot of those you know goals came just after they entered the zone. They were just able to spread out quickly, and as you said, just get those quick one tees and find those soft spots. Mm -hmm. Jer Gordon coming in, defenseman activating, trying to send that one in front. The backhand may have been a buffered shot. Easy save for Yede. I'm liking seeing Sveti take the handle here in this one. You know, it was Trump on very much so in game one, but Sveti said, hold up, let me cook. And he's been really turning it up here in game two. A lot of activation here. It's nice face-off win going for that one-time play. It looked like uh, Amadi got kind of held up there. As Ruhe has it, takes it into the corner. The shot on goes way wide. Not too sure if it hit something or maybe just healed it a little bit. But here comes Amity once again, trying to feed that one to the middle. Thrumping it activated once again. Slap pass play off the corner boards. Rough angle off the post right there for Yusa. Still able to get a decent chance off of that. Yes, Venom seems to be thriving in this open-ended game. Strumpen now activating once again. Feed to the middle, goes just wide. Off the post from the buffered shot. They have to be careful here, but a nice calm pass back out. Yusa has it now. Over to Tiltson. Tiltson back to the point. Kimos circling around. A thought about taking the shot. Goes for the one time instead. Ellie Kamel quite far over to his left. Still makes the save. Looking for the reflection again. Venom just pounding this puck from every single angle. Kimos one time again. Ellie Kamel late on the slide, but fortunately, that was the position he needed to be in. Counterattack for Jur Gordon. Trying to feed the middle. It has to go back to the point, back down low. Amity now. Circles back around, goes back up top. Sveti in possession. Strumpen back to Sveti. They have the one time look. What a save by Yeti! But it's kept alive. Amity trying to drive the net. Gets bullied down. And Venom in possession once again. A high-flying second period. Somehow no goals in this one. They maintain onside right there. Puck in deep. Strumpen takes it away. Speed down the left wing side. Trying to get cut off. As the puck still to the middle. Loose puck. Taken away here. Yusa slows up. Makes the pass. Nice stick there from Amity to break things up. This is a furious pace here in this second period. And an offside, finally. Yeah, let's give a hand to Sin first and foremost. That's all, arguably 11 minutes there going hard. Take a breath, buddy. Great stuff out of you. And even better out of both of these hockey teams. This is a high-flying game. We couldn't ask for anything better. Sin, get back at it, buddy. High up in the neutral zone. Strumpen with possession. Gained the line cut to the outside. Trying to hit his winger. Goes all the way around, and Amity will collect. Strumpen trying to send it through the middle once again. A few force passes here, but at least they're making their way through, if not finding their intended targets. Venom slowing it up here, feeding Daddy, just cutting up the middle. Sauce pass over! What a pass! A better save as Ellie Kamel slid over the back and forth. Loose puck, shot on! Toe save by Ellie Kamel. And Venom will collect in the neutral zone. Taken away by Amity, though. El skates to the middle, shot on! On the top of the net! as Yede flails around. And I cannot believe we haven't found a goal here in the second period. Best thing about sports game or hockey, every game's played like a game seven here, Sin. That's what we're getting. This is high flying, amazing action between two hungry teams. Back on the point now. Shot on looking for that corner. Ellie Camelli able to get the blocker on it. 
But Mirsku has it once again, takes a hit to make the play. One time blocked by Strump in excellent position. Tries to just send that one up quickly, taken away by Yusa. And a loose puck again. Puck chopped to keep it alive. Kimos gets bodied down. Almost looked like a trip right there. Yeah, I thought he was going for sure, Sin, but it looks like it's all fair game. Bruhe with the puck, feeding it over. Kimos has it, trying to get into that corner. Strumpen takes a huge hit, but makes the pass. Amity trying to power down the boards. He has it. Amity to the middle. Tilts and snipes it! What a play by Amity, refusing to be slowed up. And Tiltson makes it a two-goal lead. Well, the speed works for Zior Gordon, too, I guess, doesn't it, Sin? Is what a feed by Amity. And how about the confidence from Tiltson to just lean into that and let it go? As we see Amity streaking down the wing. Tiltson stops up. You see the stutter, stutter step there? Just after he comes over the line, it opens up the space for him, and he ripped that thing home like he knew where it was going all game long. A great late goal here in the second period for Zur Gordon. They may be looking for one more. What a play! Oh, and a better block! It was Kimos, I believe, got his stick on that at the last second. That would have been devastating if that had gone in. If you want to learn how to get yourself open in EA Sports, just have a look at Tiltson here, Sin. Two plays there late in the period. How about this monster, monster save from Yere? He's been fantastic for Venom to at least give him an opportunity to keep it in the game. But when you've got a gentleman like Tiltson coming down with that chip on his shoulder, he stared right into Yere's eyes and ripped that baby home. Yeah, I mean, that was just super impressive. You mentioned that little stutter step to open up the space yeah. so Amity could make that pass. That's just, again, intelligent we'll hockey. If, here. Yeah, if you're a goal scorer, that's the kind of stuff you need to do. And that patience he has, the delay, it you know, it's yeah. he, he doesn't wait for that defender to get out of position. He delays, sees the trajectory, and then rips it. That's just such an intelligent play. Yeah, there's the big save by Yure. Is How about Amadi's high IQ? We saw Tiltson do it in the last game where he fed Amadi for that gift wrap one last game. And Amadi says, hey, Tilty, buddy, anything you can do, I can do better. As he walks around a couple of defenders, but not able to find the mesh. As a third period is underway, Venom need two goals just to tie it here it has been a wild game five goals in the first a wide open second period which only found one goal go figure yeah only one in that one you know i one thing i want to attest to i think strumpon reminds me of almost regs-esque when he gets down in that left hand corner and he gets into looking like his passing right there just phenomenal comedy goes down low to tilson comedy back up top as you're going to maintaining some zone time here. Lidman has that one sticked away and counterattack now coming. Daddy with the puck. Beautiful defense right here. They've done such a good job of just slowing down those forwards. Yeah, and that's what the tail of the tape is, isn't it, Sin? It's just slowing things down and then firing up and playing your game on the other side once you flip the momentum. Face off here in the defensive end. Tie up and... In possession, nice sauce up the middle. Tiltson has an Omidy, cuts around one, looking for a sentiment, couldn't get the pass off. Shot deflected and off the bar. Musa will pick it up. Daddy has that one taken away in the middle. Once again, the back chuck of Zhergordon continuing to be a strength. Strumpen just powers his way through. Has it down low, looking for the short side. Loose puck, Omidy can't bury it. As he went back to that blocker side and... It was taken away by Yere. Once Strumpon gets going there, Sid, it's like nothing can stop him. What a hit! <laughs> Double Dion! He tries to stuff it 5 for Ellie Kamel will cover it. Speaking of once someone gets going, Ruhe there, wrecking ball through the middle of the ice. Unbelievable. I'm still in tears after he came through. As we were giving some taste to Strumpon, but he comes through and says, Don't forget about me, guys. Double Dion. Absolutely unreal collision right there. Strumpen works it back to his defensive partner. We have a little bit of a freeze. We're not too sure if we're still live. We're going to try to get this sorted out for you guys as quick as possible here. And a goal! Well, there yeah. you have it. Of course, things happen at the worst Ow. time for yeah. us. Guido just hit me in the back of the head. It's my first time back in the booth. I tripped over the cord. You know, it's been a while. I know you guys have been running, but, you know, I apologize there, guys. But a big goal from the other Gordon, nonetheless.
And it looked like with the lack of a replay there, it was an own goal knocked in by the uh, skater where it looks like we're going to be able to get a quick look at it right here, perhaps. Uh, yeah, someone dove oh, yeah. him. I guess it hit off him and negated the pass. And where? Uh, Yep, there. The EA, all all the fun for a defenseman <laughs> pickup animation. <laughs> EA Sports, it's in the game here regardless. Here, Gordon, that's going to be a hat trick as well. Yes, indeed, and Venom in even more trouble now in this third period as your Gordon may not be done in the offensive zone once again. Defenseman going down low, but that creates some space here. Could be a two-on-one for Venom. Pass over, scores! Great job from Daddy right there to open up. Passes over to Yusun. He buries it. They're having high success through those cross ice passes here, low in the offensive zone as we see we get another one in Sin. You're saying there's a chance here. They're only down by two. 11 minutes to go with the way Venom's been playing. Uh, ample opportunity for them to come back for sure as we see the two on one here and the lane opens up and there's that stutter step now coming from Yusa at the other end. Yeah, indeed, you know, open up that space, force that defenseman to over-pursue, and, you know, not a whole lot Strumpen could have done in that situation. Back all by himself as they get another chance down low. Ellie Kamel will cover it about midway through the third. And both goaltenders, after that first period, they've kind of tightened up a little bit, haven't they, uh, Sin? It's like, you know, they were both wearing an eye patch there in period one, and they said, that's enough, we're, it's time to lock it in here. Pass down into the corner. Strumpen will take it away. Just kind of sends that one out. Chop attempt from Amity. Can't get it. Venom in possession once again. Trying to feed it through the middle. Goes off a skate. Lidman pass over to Amity there, but Tilson was expecting it. That leads to an offside. Big, big plays here by Thurgord, and they just need to slowly play the clock and the Venom. They don't want Venom to get another one, especially early here, for them to have over five minutes to get back into this. Totson now back up top. They're going to have to be a little bit more cognizant of activating those defensemen in down lows. That's what led to that two-on-one before. They don't want another situation. Someone going, but no passing lane. Ruhe was trying to... Maybe get a quick Omaha opportunity. Strumpen just smartly plays that out. Is that on net? Doesn't matter. No icing anyway. That's normal. I don't think, I don't think we've seen a single yeah, icing normal. call. <laughs> Ruhe now down into the corner. Poked away, but Daddy collects. On the point now. Back up top. Kimos gets bodied off the puck. Good collection from the centerman. He's looking, looking for a one time. Just way too many white jerseys in that lane. We're approaching the four-minute mark here of the third period. Nice pass. Amity, L skating to the middle, has that one knifed away. Yusa back in possession for Venom. Gains the line. Drop pass to Kemos. Kemos rips it on, looking for the deflection. Hits bodies in front and doesn't go to the net. Daddy now trying to feed that in front. Loose puck broken. Play goal. But Venom will take it. Ruhe has one. And it's now just a one-goal game. What? A play. How did that get onto his twig? Like, I gotta have another look at this. The pass comes out, and what a play for just high IQ hockey to be in the right place at the right time to take that right off. None other than the hero's thrump on, and we got ourselves a hockey game. There you see it out front. Ruhe, just great job by him to have body position, which is a, a more than successful as it worked here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Strumpen got the initial kind of interception, but because Ruhe was right in his grill, as you said, he just kind of took it away, spun around and ripped it on. That's just a, a tough break, sure. But, you know, that's the reason you see teams, especially even in the highest level, just kind of forcing that slot sometimes because plays like that can happen. And when you're desperate and need a goal, well, Venom just got one, and it is a one-goal game. Azure Gordon feeling the heat a little bit, and they turn it over right off the draw. Yusa trying to take the shot. Amity will collect that loose puck, and they'll settle things down. Strumpen and Sveti collide a little bit. Up the ice was Sveti. Another turnover here. Nice poke by Amity. Send it all the way back in low. Approaching that last minute of real time. And this is precious time ticking off the clock for Venom while Zhergordon's in possession. Gets that one in deep. No issue with that as they'll set back a defensive trap. Five men on the blue line. Venom has to try to take it in carefully. They get it. You say in the load. He scores! The flying poke check used to 
no avail. It looked like the trap couldn't be penetrated. Yusa said, hold my beer, gets it in, and tucks it. That's kind of what's wrong with the five-man trap. Instead of playing the two-three, is Yusa just says, here, hold my beer, and just goes through everybody. What a play by him, as it was a little broken. But how about the determination from Yusa? And you said it was starting to heat up. I think the Barnes caught fire again here, Sin. Here we go, 5-5. Five, five. Hat trick goal for Yusa. What a time to get it to tie this one up. Sure, Gordon, though, back in... The offensive zone, there is time. Strumpen to Tiltson. Tiltson goes down low. Amity circling behind the net now. Tiltson cuts back the other way, looking for that quick pass for that short side shot. Amity maintains possession. Jer Gordon getting all kinds of time in the offensive zone. Just cleared out. Will we see an icing? Oh, yes, hey, we will. First one of the game, and I just got word actually we're missing a linesman for the past two games. He's going to show up for the next two, oh. so that could have been why you're sin as we get an ozone draw. Hopefully he's back for overtime. Uh-oh, he said it. If a goal happens, it's not me. Everyone, just be aware. Pass through. Hey, Daddy just powers his way through. Against five skaters, just trying to buy time for the rest of his team to get in the zone. Eight seconds remaining. Circles the horn! That one hits some bodies, goes just wide. Daddy has it once again, bodied off. Ruhe shot all and off the bar after Ali Kamel made the save. But this game deserves overtime, and overtime we get, Lime. Then you had me at the edge of my seat after you said that for 17 seconds of holding on to the desk for dear life. As what a play by Venom. They almost had it past Ellie Kamel, and he sure hasn't looked like he has in game one. But how can you with the strong offense there, the breakaways? How do you stop those great? Come back here with two unanswered, I guess three unanswered now. If we go back to period two for Venom, Zero Gordon hasn't scored in quite some time. You know, kind of at this point, almost like win or lose, Venom has at least kind of sorted out some of the goal scoring troubles there. And yeah, you said it. That was a completely broken play. What they're, what they're trying to do, Daddy's trying to cross and then give a quick pack to, pass to Yusa with speed. The result is the same, but it's just not the cleanest, but they'll take that sort of, you know, uh, uh, luck right there, I guess you could say. Yeah, whatever it may be, they're going to take it, Sin, and run to it with the house. So, overtime, Augie here, Sin, 5-5. Five, five. Next goal wins, baby. Sudden death, Omni with it in the zone and almost comes in the first few seconds. Huge save by Yede off the one time as Tiltson put everything into that shot. Thrumpen will pick it up in his own end. Venom will come back. Nice little forecheck from Ruhe to put some pressure. Pass off the skate, and you're going to have to reset once again. Too many bodies on that left-hand side. Causes yet another turnover. Daddy has it through. Just trying to pick that short side, but Ellie Kamel is there. Ellie Kamel standing on his head here in the blue paint. Is every shot's a good shot in overtime, Sin? We both know that. Great job by Venom, and they've been great in the offensive zone faceoff. See if they get one here. There's Lidman and Daddy on there. They go with the tie up here and they do get possession. Ruhe back to the point. Nirsku circles around looking for that one timer, but he was completely covered. Back up top. He almost now has it. Shot on deflected off the post. Can't get it again. Loose puck in a shot blocked. Mirsku now, once again, great zone presence from Venom. Yusa back up top. Kimos now. Back across. Daddy was up at the point. They go into an umbrella situation. One time on. And taken away. And your sure Gordon just trying to settle this down. After they were under siege there. Trying to go up the middle. Amity got that puck back. Not enough space to take a shot. One time and a good save by Yede. Kimos collects. His saucer pass goes off a of body. Jer Gordon will have it once again. Strumpen gains the line, cuts left, and goes down low. Tilts in. He's with Amity down low. They fight for it. They maintain possession. Strumpen now has it on the point from the loose puck. Nice stick work right there by Yusu to take that one away. And here comes Venom. Three on two if they hurry, but a strong backup from Jer Gordon. Venom still has it, though. Down low. Ruhe in the corner. Goes back up top. Kimos looking for the wrist shot. Rebound. How did it not go in? Ellie Kamel got back and then he made the save and it hits off the post. 
What a save, Ellie Kamel, as he gets the secondary one off as helper there, Sin. And this is exactly what we want. 10 minutes. Feels like we've already played 20. This is great overtime hockey here at Sports Gamer GG. My goodness, at a loss for words right here, and I don't necessarily find myself in that position so often. One time it may have gotten the glove on it right there yet, eh? Or hit the side of the net. Nonetheless, he read that one as well as he could. Venom now back in possession. Daddy cuts to the middle, gaining the line, avoiding all the sticks and bodies. Nirsku from the point goes just wide. Y uh, Yusa cannot control that puck. Jer Gordon will begin to work it out of there and slowly here. Pass to the middle, Lidman, his secondary pass can't get through. Yusa in possession once more. Power skating his way through, he gets by all the sticks, trying to get that short side, but poke from behind. Good recovery by Strumpen. Ven Venom's been very, very good at entering the zone and shutting things down and starting that transition from their own zone. We'll see if they get one here again as they come through with speed. Pass to the middle there, but that time, red by Jer Gordon. A couple of the defensemen dropping back so they didn't get beat with speed. Tiltson now has it. Strumpen collects the loose puck, activates in, goes back down low, tilts in. Has Amity on the half wall, uses him back to the point and down low to Amity again. In front, loose puck, oh, and it looked like Yeti got it after Lidman took a whack at it. Dangerous play, uh, dangerous situation for Venom, I should say, and they're not out of the woods quite yet. They finally strip that one away and get a counterattack of their own. You most will have to reset and slow things up as we approach the last two minutes of real time as it is here in overtime. Both teams just trying to feel out the last couple of minutes here. It's been so high pressure. Everyone looks a little lost as it slowed down a bit, Sin. Strumpen gets to the middle there, but no shooting lane for Tilton, and the passing lane was snuffed out immediately. That leads to an offside with 142 left here in this first overtime. Sin, we got 17 minutes of all action, full out hockey between these two teams. Great defense and offense. It's slowed down a little bit here as both teams may be holding the controller a little tight in that last minute and a half. Sveti with the puck now. Pass over to Strumpen. Strumpen has to be careful right there. Gets it to Sveti. He has some speed down the wing. Spin! Was that a spin shot or was it a pass? It just hit something hard to tell. Shot off into the back wall. And Venom has it. Nice poke right there for Lindman covering on defense. He jumps up to join the rush here. Strumpen. Join the rush here. He gets tied up on the back. Wall, Tiltson couldn't keep that puck for Lon, and Venom has it once again. Kimos off the wall pass, but immediately poked away. Sveti has it now on the side of Zhurgord. Amity gains the line, has a little bit of space, looking to the middle, and they score! Lidman, it's the drop pass, not the cross crease, catches yet a off guard, and Zhurgord will get the full four points. Yeah, I think Yere thought that was going to tilts and what a play by Amadi to drop that one high into Lidman. And we saw that earlier in the game. Amadi dropped it to Tiltson after the stutter step, which provided goal four. Uh, and now we're seeing it in overtime. Great comeback here after going three unanswered from Venom. Jurgordon comes through and takes a big backhanded win. I don't know, maybe Lidman likes that backhand to chop in the slot it's working for him yeah it set up a deflection goal in the first game that yeah. time he gets the game winner and yeah even i think even i couldn't exactly tell from the replay but i think he even thought that um you know yeti wouldn't read as much it looked like he almost shot it towards the left but on the back end just kind of hit off yeti and still went in i'm sure we'll get a better look on some of these replays but a great night on the side of Jer gordon you know you get four out of four points for venom just the lone point on the night but again little victories for the big picture they got five goals in that game and 21 shots on it seems like they started to figure out what they need to do for success on offense yeah it, sh you wouldn't believe that they were the same teams playing in game one than game two would you sin is it was only one shot coming out of period one but it was like that was maybe a warm-up game here uh sin as they turned it on 
big time both of these teams and the heart and resilience from Venom in that third period to score three goals. Uh, you know, that's just huge, huge hockey. They were winning the battles in the offensive zone. They weren't able to come out with the W, but at least they're collecting a point in overtime. Yeah, exactly. You know, the point in overtime is going to be good. We will get a look at this game winner. I'm just very curious to see where that shot aim is coming from Ford Lindemann. And if Yede got a piece of it, as I thought he did, yeah, yeah. looks like it. Yeah, what a play, though. How about that pass? And you got to love that. Is almost every player, including probably me and you, thought that was going across crease. But, you know, Amadi, great hockey to move that one back. We saw it multiple times. You know, maybe something we're going to have to watch from Jerry Gordon during the season. And other teams might want to take notice as well. Yeah, I mean, just really high IQ plays coming out from them yeah. in all situations, you know, whether they have established a zone or off the rush, they just were incredible. And, you know, that's the main reason they got four out of four points. But we are not done for the day. Not even close. Of course, we have another matchup coming up for you uh, briefly after we wrap this one up here. Sorry, my screen just went completely haywire here as I'm trying to read things off. But, of course, it will be Red Bull Munich Esports taking on prestige in our second games for today so do not go anywhere we will throw to a quick break as we get those teams ready and uh catch our breaths after that last game that is for sure so thank you guys for sticking with us and we'll see you in just a little bit